Alright everybody, and welcome to another episode of Would I Buy? And as the cool kids would say, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, but don't smash your computer. Um, we're looking at divorce story, or my divorce story. That's quite sad to think about. And it's quite, I don't know why when I was playing this game, I felt I don't know, it felt strange the whole time. So obviously I was trying to um, choose your spouse name and for some reason, why did, why did I call her Fred? It got me so confused. Oh, don't call your character Fred. Uh, yeah, this is a very strange... Who thought of this concept for a game? So basically, what I think what the aim of the game is, obviously you players. The husband that I think you suspect just your spouse is cheating. And I think the aim of the game, you sort of go through trying to, you just pretty much point and click at things, sort of like look at the mobile phone and click on various things in order to try and gain a little bit more information and find out whether your spouse is actually cheating on you or not. And it looks as if it's sort of, the whole story sort of comes together from that. And it is such a strange, surreal ex experience that it's like every time I picked on something, I felt guilty for doing it. Every clicked on the phone, then obviously, you know, your spouse challenges you on it and you have to lie on it. And I'm like, <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. You, it's bad that you just think your, your spouse is cheating on you. But if you've got no trust there in a real life situation, if your trust is not there, then you kind of just have to get out of there. Because I kind of think the moment that you start going through their phone sneakily and then lying about it, you you kind of, well, you're not obviously being just as bad, but you ain't exactly being good, are you? It's, you're lying to your partner as well. And it, yeah, it, this is where it just kind of felt a little bit strange in that situation. But that's obviously real world stuff. But this is a game, so, you know, you distance yourself from that. And in terms of the quality of the game, it, you know, it's a sim very simple game. It's not an expensive game. And, you know, for what it is for the price, it's, it's, I had fun with it in a very weird, morbid type of way. So it was just pretty much you either stop. I, I kind of like, I think it was because I liked the animation. It, it plays out very simple. It sort of has your character that looks like he wakes up in the morning. He walks out the door. And I think the only point is you stop your character. Is I think he's always moving forward. And it sort of follows a sort of linear path where he passes the coffee shop every morning. And then he goes into work. And I think it's sort of an artistic impression of... You know, following this guy through his day-to-day -day life. So obviously he gets his coffee in the morning, goes to work, comes home. And in between, you can obviously click on certain objects where you find out a little bit more. Like, as I say, you're checking out the phone or you're checking out the, the mail every morning to find out certain information. And then likewise, at specific points, your wife's challenging you and she's saying, did you do this? And then you, you kind of like presented with an option then you just think do I do I lie do I tell the truth and that sort of stuff and it yeah it was a little bit strange um and I think that is pretty much the concept of that it looks as if there is a lot of different pieces of evidence so you're collecting evidence to put together and I believe it will all sort of tally together and then it basically will sort of determine your ending, I believe. And it looks as if there are quite a, a few different endings. So I think from that aspect, it's kind of actually intriguing. I don't know what different kind of ending. I presume you must find out certain information, whether they piece together different things. I don't know. I mean, when I started the game, I just sort of said are you cheating? And then I think the game kind of ended out right there. Was that class as an ending? Where she just pretty much left me on the spot. Um, but to be fair, if... Uh, 
yeah i don't know i don't know where i would go with that but yeah so it seems like you gather different pieces of evidence and it all sort of tallies together i kind of like how it has it has a screen of i think of all the different evidence that you have found and it also sort of displays a silhouette of evidence that's still there to find like pieces of evidence so i think as a simple game as it kind of is i think for the price that you pay it was only like a few pounds i probably would actually buy it you know for such a simple concept as weird as it were to kind of play it i think because it's such a I suppose it's a bit of a taboo subject. I did kind of enjoy playing it and actually I would have been intrigued to sort of find a little bit more about this couple, about sort of what's gone wrong or... Because it seems like it was sort of delving into that sort of area about this couple. And I suppose I was kind of intrigued on that and I think for a few pounds... I think it would keep me entertained for a short while. I don't know how long. It probably is not a very long game. Judging from what I've played there, I can presume it's not a very long game. Unless you are willing to go for all the different endings. In which case, you might get a little bit more life out of it. But, regardless, I think I'd have fun with it for such a simple game. Um, but, as I say, that is my opinion. I mean, how about you guys? Do you think it's a taboo subject? Have you played it? Have you bought it? Um, you know, could you wait for it? Or you're not bothered about it at all? Especially with it being such a strange concept. But, yeah. As always, I will leave it at that. So, uh, until then, I will see you guys on the next one. Laters.